Ooh, my friends. It appears that we are live and we're back to playing Vampire. We'll see for how long we'll go today. It'll probably be like another, uh, somewhere between two and six hours, <laughs> depending how well my voice, uh, is gonna cooperate. And how, uh, how the game's going. Still super interested in seeing how, uh, how stuff's gonna turn out. All right, loud noises. Let me tell you guys, you're alive. Hold on, more van beer. All right. Let's see if. Stream Elemente. All right, good. The eye was in the tomb. Right. Our good friend, and I don't know if he's evil or anything, uh, Mr. Dr. Man, Swan Song. Uh, Swansea, he told us, oh no, your sister died, bruv. We obviously know that, because we're the one that accidentally killed her when we awoke as a vampire, and, uh, yikes. So now we're gonna go to her funeral, but, uh, I was thinking maybe we should do most of the side quests right now, because otherwise we'll, like, progress into other stuff, and I'm not too sure if I want to do that just yet. Also... I'm gonna wanna make some cures for a bunch of diseases. Like sleepy boy disease. First of all, let's check. All of these are recovering except for you who's got a headache and I don't know how to cure that. He's got a cold. He is unknown, but is sick. He's fatigued. So fatigue, cold, fatigue, migraine. And he's pretty bad. He's got like two disease things. So what do we have? Uh, bronchitis, anemia, no more fatigue for sepsis. Okay. Let's see if we can make something against or well to cure a cold. And a lot of fatigue stuff. Pneumonia, cold. We can. Two. And a bunch of these. Uh, uh. Don't have any... Oh, I just used... No, wait. Ah, I used a couple of those. Alright, that's fine. We need a lot of potassium permanganate. But this is looking alright. We've got a, a lot of cures now. As we... uh, Well, as I decided. I want to cure a lot of peeps. As many as possible. Um, just to be a good lad. Uh, Richard Nithalcourt. Right, we'll have to go back to... Oh yeah, she's missing. <laughs> um, we want to go back to Whitechapel, which is... Over... There and we also have that event which I would like to uh to check out. Hope oh, don't break my legs. We're fine. I wonder if vampires in this I mean we do have fast regeneration if we use our blood. I suppose we do have that then. I was about to ask if we do have uh like rapid regeneration if we were to break a leg or something. If that would instantly heal. In theory, apparently yes. If at all possible, I would like to... Whoops. Wait, does that do... It does not do damage. Okay, I just saw that our health isn't like fully topped up. But that's for other reasons. Alright, are we in town? 
But yeah, I'm here to heal people, not to murder. Not just yet, at least. Alright, we are in the critical zone. Health-wise. Hello, sir. You're sleeping with your eyes open, that's fine. Yikes. I won't end up another drunk arsehole littering the streets. What's up, bruv? How are you, boy? I'm not your boy, all right? Now piss off. <laughs> all right. Do you need assistance? Please. Feeling tired these days. I know. Have some of this. Go. Let's hope nobody steals. There the you Very go. <laughs> Hippocratic oath. Wait, what? Steal ten citizens. All oh, right, that's the uh, the chief. Oh. Have you heard anything about Nurse Crane and her dispensary? Never heard of her. Hmm. I found the recruiter you were expecting. He's dead, but he carried a note. The wet boot boys have accepted your application. I knew it! I told you I was tough enough. I'll be free soon. Uh, I was about to say this is no freedom because you'll be working for... Bam, bam, ba, again. Free? You may soon find out that you have simply traded one set of shackles for another. You're all fancy words, none of which concern me. Go worry about someone else. I'm fine and I have a future here. Uh. Sure. Let's see if we actually meet him later. In like a later chapter or something with Goodbye, the wet boot boys. Man. Because there is going to be a conflict with them. Like there, there is such a... A looming presence. All right, so we did that, and then we have that encounter, whatever it's gonna be. Milady, you're healthy, but there's Benjamin. She sells stuff, right? Good evening. Have you any news on Nurse Crane and her dispensary? It seems her dispensary isn't so busy nowadays. Good thing for the Swamper Cordial. <laughs> I'd like to. All right. She does have a couple of these, so let's buy all of them. It is expensive, but it's gonna be worth it. All right, see you, lady, and Benjamin. Do we have something against my friends? Good evening, Benjamin. Can I help you? I'm afraid not, Mr. Reed. Yeah, we don't have any. Damn. All these people would be so easy to just, you know, mesmerize and kill. <sighs> I'm looking forward to that, uh, oh, whoops. To that Good other playthrough that we might do at some point. Have you any news of Nurse Crane and her dispensary? Not recently. A gun, alcohol, and a bat. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snake oil peddler. I'm just activating a vampire sight so that I can uh, check out if there's any people around. But as of now, not really. And open this bad boy. Which is the way we should be going for that mission. Or well, the event. Ah, uh, Dorothy is not looking too good. Level 24? Yikes. She's an absolute unit. All right, let's uh, go kick her ass, I guess. If we can. I guess she got turned into a vampire or something. Like all of these people. Anyone to the left? I don't want to get like ambushed. Position so that the spear hits both. I'm quite a fan that we have a bunch of, uh, you have glowy eyes. I don't know if that means, yeah, 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 that does mean powers. Let me stake your heart, bitch. There we go. Give him a suck, a bit of blood back. Oof. 
move. Have a bit of a heal, since we're already topped up. Yeah, she's not sounding too good. Yeah, and as a uh, as suspected, um, apparently the vampire virus is transferable with the flu because all of these people are sick, or there's another way. Like maybe it's not even the flu. But I mean, have people survived? I wonder if she always turns... Also, why is she so powerful? Oh, she ate the dude! What the fuck, lady? Uh... He's resistant to strike and blood. Uh... So that sucks. I mean, it still does all right damage, I suppose. Oh, and she's just a regular one. All right. I thought she would have powers, but I guess... Oh no, she wouldn't have powers since she's just like a, you know, a skull, basically. There's just like the rare occurrences of some of them. Oh, what? Ew. Why'd she explode? Oh, poison. Oh, she did have that lump on her neck when we, uh... When we checked out her profile. Interesting that... That Mr. Vampir... It's locked, alright. Here, it doesn't... Treatment for headache. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, I'm slightly confused that Jonathan... Talk to Jonathan Reed. Didn't comment about murdering her right there. Also, we're getting a lot of other medical uh, supplies. We did just raid her stash, so that's good. We got a beautiful. F oh, we got a beautiful flower. All right, we got a cure for a headache, but we did not get the recipe for it. I mean, aspirin, <laughs> I guess. All right, I guess that's that. Done. And since we have that cure, let's go and uh, help that lad real quick. Since, you know, we have the Hippocratic Oath to heal if we have Good evening. the opportunity. You don't seem well, Benjamin. Do you need any help? I always feel ill, sir. It's like I'm never right. Oh, migraine, not headache. I was. A Yikes. gun? Whoopsie doodles. For some reason, I, I don't think I am a person that suffers from migraines. Um, so I always just think it's a headache, which is not correct. Good evening, Mr. P I could ask you the exact same question, Mr. Doctor. Alright, I do. Uh, How do you feel, Mr. Petrescu? Do you need my help? I would not even accept fresh water from you, Doctor. I don't need your help. Luckily, I'm a vampire and I can smell what disease you have. Yes, you do. Please, take this. You'll feel better. I said I don't want anything. But I'll keep this for those who really need it. Goodbye, Mr. Petrescu. Classic old man behavior being like, ah. I've lived my life. I'm fine. Gave it to the, the youngins. Is there anyone here? We've got Barrett Lewis, Joe Peterson. I don't have your money. I don't have your money. You again? Have you recent news of Nurse Crane and her dispensary? I saw her wandering the streets yesterday. I think. She didn't recognize me. People say she's lost it. Oof. It's a sad story. Anything we can talk? Ooh. Harry doesn't seem happy. Oh, he's the dad. Child. Why did you make him come here? I've always put my son's interests above everything else. Whatever he may think. 
Our house is small but affordable. The walls are thin, but the door is solid. You really love your son, don't you, Mr. Peterson? He's my pride and joy. Even if he hates me for the choices I make and pushes me buttons more than he should. Hmm. Do you have any regrets? Only one. Not to have my beloved wife by my side. She died when Harry was little. My sweet Jane. She gave the boy confidence. Since the criminal nature of your job means you could be arrested, are you not afraid of what would happen to your boy if you were? No one will ever take my son away from me. If that ever occurred, I'd, I'd hunt a bastard down and rip off his head with my bare hands. I mean, what if you'll go to prison, though? <laughs> yeah, that's different. Why do you keep on working Why? for the gang? Why? You know it doesn't suit you. It's true, I hate this job. And I know I made some bad choices, but I'm a wet boot boy now. People won't forget it. You could leave tomorrow. Start another life in another town. That's easy for you to say, Doctor. We are poor. My son's weak. And there's no way he'll endure another disappointment. Hmm. Alright then. Goodbye, man. Maybe we can help them out at some point. I really hope so. Fancy buying some. You never lose your focus. Right then. What did he sell? Weapon stuff? Weapon stuff? Basically everything. Okay. Sure. Not gonna use that. Uh, hold on. I want to ask him about the uh, dispensary. Even though, you know, we know what happened. We are the ones that shut it down. Do you have any news of Nurse Crane and her dispensary? It appears those who dare to get health care from that bitch are never seen again. Something I mean, fishy going on there, for sure. I mean, yeah, they're turning into vampire. Well, not vampires, into skull. How is business around here? Business? I have no business. Between this racket theft and customers getting scared i'm losing money every day i see sounds like you blame someone in particular for your situation it's no secret joe peterson spends his time harassing merchants but with me he's trying to put me out of business once and for all hmm as a merchant you see whitechapel every day have you noticed anything out of the ordinary recently well you mean besides the epidemic the war and all the usual crap as long as I can remember, this part of town has been a bottomless pit, and no sign of the bottom yet. Violence is increasing in the borough. Yeah. A few nights ago, some blokes jumped me, came out of one of the condemned workshops. Fever. Oh, Madness, yeah. Yikes. Something like that. Where did this happen? Why did you go there? In the closed workshops nearby. I worked there as an apprentice in better days. Now I only go to find trinkets or tools. Too bad I was mugged, though. There was good money in that little box of loot I lost. Hmm. I'ma find that and give it back, hopefully. Have you been hurt? Keep it. No, but that's only because I ran like hell. Those men were raving lunatics, I tell you. Not even able to speak anymore, just screaming. Yep. Sounds like, uh... Sounds like vampires. Goodbye for now. Alright, let's talk to this lad. Why are you harassing this shopman? You again. How did you become the local oh. boy everyone is afraid of, Joe? There's no pride in roughing up poor bastards. But this is the only job I've found. And it pays well, too. A job? So you're racketeering for someone else? I got enlisted by the wet boot boys, a mm -hmm. gang from the docks. I'm their muscle for their dirty work. I mean, yeah, he does need to get money, and he isn't able to get any other job, but I mean, like, yikes. You survive at any cost, even at the expense of others. Perhaps that's just the law of nature. I don't care what you think, sir. I do what I have to do for my own reasons, and that's that. I'm not sure Mr. Lewis would agree with your by-all-means-necessary yeah. philosophy, sir. Oh, do you really think he's the poor victim here? Barrett can be as sneaky as anyone. Long ago, I even called the bastard my best friend. Hmm. Goodbye. So they used to be best friends. Now he got the job. He needs to take care of his son. 
can't get anywhere else. Roughs up shopkeepers to pay protection money or something like that. Fancy buying something, sir? You never lose your focus, oh, this do you? <laughs> <laughs> this angle is like we're looking at them having an affair. They're so close. They're literally inside of each other. Oh no. <laughs> Look at this. He's just smelling my cologne. What do you know of Harry Peterson? The boy seems so <laughs> fragile. Not like his father at all. Harry's a good boy, but he spends most of his time complaining. He's had it tough, all right, but he needs to grow a pair. What troubles him exactly? Well, despite being his father's son, almost everything, I think. He never wanted to come to Whitechapel in the first place. Hates this place more than most of us. Mm hmm. Joe Peterson. Joe He's the villain Peterson. here, isn't he? But you seem to know each other. I've known Joe for years. I saw him box once or twice. He was a friend then. But these days, he's just another thug. What can you tell me about Mr. Peterson? Oh God, Besides they're actually. His behavior toward you. Colossus <laughs> Joe was a decent boxer, good one even. But after his wife passed away, he found every excuse to stop training. Just oh, okay. Pick fights with everyone. Yeah, it's just angry. Just an angry lad. Without making excuses for him. Oh, it's God. safe to say that despair can poison even the sanest mind. We've all had some rough times, ain't we? But most of us don't use our fists to see us through. And no one has ever stood oh. <laughs> to this thug. Nobody would be fool enough to stand against a wet boot, boy. Alright. <laughs> Those lips are looking good. <laughs> alright. Right. Uh, alright. We did check that out. Alright, see ya. My love. Christina Papa. Good evening, Christina. Change your mind, Miss. Yes. What do you know about Nurse Crane and her dispensary? Two girls I know went to the dispensary yesterday. Nobody has seen them since. I worry about them in case bad things happen. Don't worry, bad things have happened. Anything new? New. Do you need any assistance, Miss Popper? It depends on the price of your medicine. It's free of charge. I'm shocked that you would think I am that sort of man. Forgive my suspicion. I'm so used to liars with good manners. Thank you, sir. Now give me the sock. Goodbye, Miss. Her mental resilience is quite high, right? Yeah, it's at four. Clayton Darby, you're tired. Good evening, Doctor. Can I help you? Have you any news of Nurse Crane and her dispensary? It appears the dispensary is now a major source of contagion in Whitechapel. Someone should do something about it, but no one cares. Already been done. They're all dead. <laughs> Christina Popper claims she sells her body because she can't find any other work. Do you believe her? Of course I do. Her story is exactly what I want my readers to understand. We live in an intolerant and divided nation. Do you think things will ever change, Mr. Darby? I believe the situation can only improve. And now that women can vote, I'm convinced things will change. Ooh, women vote? Time. That's cool. Do you need assistance? That would be nice of you, Doctor. Who knows what I may have caught during my investigation. Luckily for you, I have sickness vision. If you persist in investigating if you the boroughs of London, you must accept the risks. Thank you, sir. Goodbye, Mr. Duff. See ya, wouldn't wanna be ya. Oh, wait, can I jump up here and like drop down? New, no, because that over there is somehow the. Uh, is the flower lady still around here? Uh, those are enemies. Oh yeah, she is here. Hello, hello. Picking green flowers out of purple flowers. She's a witch. 
Very well. Why is her blood value 5,000? Is it just because she's a cutie? Oh, Camellia. Diamond flower. Oh, God. Child. Good evening. And good evening to you. Have you recent news of Nurse Crane and her dispensary? Not at all, sir. Okay. Anything new? No. Then let me help Do you, you need Bob. medical attention, sir? It may be wise to let you prescribe me something. I don't feel like I should. <laughs> I understand. I understand. And macabre beauty, sir. But you should be more careful. The nutrition of my mind is more important than my physical health. But I appreciate your concern, sir. Yeah, but with a dying body, the mind dies as well. Alright, uh, we've cured a lot of people now. Not sure if everyone's been treated. Oh, right, it's this uh, lonesome dude. Oh no, haha, I, I jest. He's not a lonesome dude. Ah. Dude. Do, 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 do. Stop, 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 stop. Why was he so fucking angry? Help, help, and heal up. Damn. Up, boys. Now. We check the health status. Oh, yeah, we have to go to pay up. And we can't cure him just yet. They look so similar. Alright, so we gotta find the house again, right? I mean, if I keep my vampire vision on, it wouldn't be so hard. The walls of your home will not protect you. Oh, well, there is no protection against my bullshit speech. Hey. But isn't this their house? Knock, knock. Good evening, Harry. Ah. Huh. May I come in? Sure. sure. He only exists when you knock on his door. Suffering in this world. Alright, hello. So, I'm not bothered. Have you any recent news of Nurse Crane and her dispensary? Nobody dares to enter the dispensary now. Rumors say the nurse has gone mad. Er, does. Your father and Your Mr. Lewis father. used to be good friends. What happened, Harry? I was young then. I don't remember Mr. Lewis ever coming back again after my mother died. Or was it after my father started bullying him? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Have you tried speaking to Mr. Lewis about it? I don't go out often, but yes. And he scolded me and told me to leave him alone. I guess my father frightens him too much. Mm. But you are not responsible for your father's actions. Am I not? Dad always says that he joined that gang for my sake. Oof. Oh, no. So if I wasn't born... People wouldn't be worrying about Colossus Joe. Oof. Yup. The classic kid response, like, but it's my fault because I exist. Like, mmm. Do you need any medical help, young man? Yes, I do. I feel so tired. I don't know if it's the epidemic, but everything seems so hard. Alright. You'll feel better with this. You'll feel but better. But you need to get a grip, young man. Medication alone won't cure melancholia. I'm not sure I'm happy with the idea of living long in a world like this. Yikers. But I thank you for you. Goodbye, young man. Wait, is his brain power just a one? Of course it is. But for now, it seems that we have uh, administered a cure to everyone that we can. It's locked. It's locked. Oh. 
professional vampire hunters. If you ever suspect someone to be a vampire, don't try to kill it yourself. You have no chance. Instead, contact me or try to inform a professional vampire killer. These men and women are rare, but they know what to do against these evil creatures. It seems that some of them are working together under the name of the God of Pruin, a paramilitary organization dedicated to, ex uh, to the eradication of the vampires in London. They are your friends. You are not alone. Solutions exist. Be smart. Spread the word. Clarence Crossley. For more information, please contact me directly. Alright. Cool, 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 cool. I'm guessing we only got that key if we do a quest or if we murder someone. And I'm not a murderer. I mean, I've, I've, I've killed. But I'm not a murderer. Alright. So. That has been done. The cures have been administered. He's, you know, whatever. We gotta go to the cemetery anyways. And now we can go and get back the box from the place where there's supposedly a bunch of vampire boys. Is this the... That is the correct place. <laughs> a man walked in here. He must be a vampire. Alright, let's stun that guy first. And then we'll go ahead and... You have a fucking... Gas... I was about to say gas throw because it looks like a flamethrower. You have a pesticide dispenser. <laughs> oh, it's a werewolf vampire boy. It's a good boy. Look at him. Oh, and he has teleport abilities, or was that just a bit of smoke from from a dash or something? All right, easy enough. Gotta love how they were just chilling out there being like, oh yeah, uh, we could kill him, but nah, let's just sit here, let our friend die, it's all good. Like, huh? What are you doing? What are you doing? All right, don't see anything up down there. Let's check up here. Can't go further up, ooh, an ax. A used hatchet. The weapon. At three stun points when the weapon is fired? Oh. Wow, we. Oh, hold on. Don't forget to loot everything. Every resource is important. We're stealing from the poor. There's a lot of, like, windows to jump out here. I wonder if it's down there. Probably not. We can't keep going up, I believe. No? Then I guess we do have to go there. What's over here? Another werewolf boy. Okay. Uh, I don't remember there being a drop attack in this game. Whoops. Oh, that that is awkward. up real quick we do have some bloody bloodiness here nothing 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 and then there's the vampire boy here uh, the werewolf vampire thing uh yeah to explain that statement <laughs> werewolf vampire boy uh, apparently vampire uh, werewolves are just uh, considered a subclass of vampirism in this game for some reason so, you know, I guess that's the thing. Wait, where is he? Can I? Oh, I see. I see. Oh. 
didn't even realize. Wait, there's not a jump button in the game. There's no jump button. This boy hits hard. Let's stun him real quick. Get some blood at him. You know, just for funsies, make his blood boil. Oh, but he's resistant. Oh, but the explosion still does damage. Okay. The more you know. Watery brisk blood sample. I do enjoy a brisk blood sample. Uh. Oh, you can just break. Oh. Hmm. Huh. Alright. That slightly changes things. Wait, was there something up there? Was. Oh. Where am I? Oh, I'm back at the beginning, right? Yes, 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 yes. Uh. Apparently, I want to get out of here. No. Oh, this is another this thing. This could be the box. Lewis thought he lost. Barrett, there is no easy way to say this. So I'm just going to be blunt. Dude, I'm like, so... Okay, no. No weed voice. Um, We can't keep on like this. At least, I can't keep on like this. If Joe ever finds out about us, about his wife and his best friend, that's what I, I already thought there was going to be like a, an affair kind of thing. Uh, it will crush him and then he will kill you. We had some good time together, but let's face it. I'm never going to be uh, your Jane Lu- Wait, what? Jane P- Wait, what? I'm so confused. Yeah. Yay. Wait, what? Sure. You're Jane Lewis. You know- uh, you know it and I know it too. So I'm ending this right here and right now. If you agree with my decision, I'm sure we'll find a way to be happy again. You, Joe, and me in time. And then the most important part of our story will have been preserved. Until that day, I wish you'd forgive me. Goodbye for now. Jane Peterson. A love letter from Joe Peterson's wife addressed to Barrett Lewis. Yeah. Who should I give it to, I wonder? Oh, that sentence. What the fuck? It's just like, hmm. <laughs> I wonder who I should give this to. Do I want to be a drama boy? Bit of a dramatic lad. Um, wasn't there a way up to the, uh, I thought there was a way up. Like, all the way up. Hmm. Oh, I guess that's just... I, gu I guess it's just operation. Alrighty then. Uh, where am I going? That is not... I mean, it's technically the way. We could have gone down to the barn and stuff. This is fine. Also, more loot. There's always so much loot. Bullets. Alright, who am I gonna give it to? Ah. <sighs> The shopkeeper boy or the lad who's gonna beat the shit out of the guy. I mean he's gonna beat him up even more. Like it's not <clears throat> He should know. You again I think the documents in this box could be of some interest to you. Really? 
Where'd you get it? I found it in an abandoned building nearby. I thought you might want to keep these letters. Let me see. Ah, uh, letters about my boy. Ah. Uh. Thank you, sir. You do not appear surprised or pained by this. Surprised about what? Harry's my son, I'm his father, and that's all there is to know, don't you think? Yes, uh, I suppose you're right. Here's a little something for your trouble, and to remind you to keep your mouth shut about all this. Uh-huh. That's odd. Goodbye. I guess he doesn't care. Fancy you never... Oh, wait. Barrett. Barrett! You had an affair with Joe's wife, didn't you? Yeah, I did. She's the only woman I love. My first regret is that she stayed with Joe after Harry was born. The second is I never shed a tear when she died. Yikes. Is Harry your son? He looks more like him, yeah. Did you ever try talking to Joe? Never. But I suspected he knew everything, even without knowing it. And he decided to make me pay in his own way. Who's Joe, though? <laughs> Joe Mama. Do you okay. mean you're Harry's father? No one will ever know for sure. And it's better that way. Looks more like him. And I don't believe I'd have been all that bad as a dad. Okay. Goodbye for now, Mr. Lewis. Ah. <sighs> Some good old water. Now that's done with. Oh, there's so much stuff here. Ah, jeez. Do we have a cure for the cold? We do. All right, heck, we're gonna go there. Well, it's it's side quest time. Oh, that is a long walk. I mean, the ducks are down. Oh, that is far away. One way or another. All right. You're late. Where's my money? Oh, okay. I thought he actually got someone out of the door. Can't help with your migraine, sa. Go through the west end over here. Through here. Over there. Yeah. Oh, uh, maybe we'll even uh, open up that shortcut that we uh, didn't get earlier. Wait. Huh? That's not even connected. Is it? Is that a door? I'll see. It's locked. Ah, okay. I guess... I guess... Right, that's the lad. That almost got shot. There we go. I was looking when I could use my abilities. Uh, I guess we'll have to go past the hospital down to the docks and all that. Okay. I kind of wish there was a way to... Uh, to get like a waypoint marker kind of system where you just have to like... Kind of Dead Space style where it's just like magic breadcrumbs showing you like, Oh, this is the way to go. Because right now I just gotta check the mini map all the time. Well, the the regular map. <gasps> A mini map would be nice. That's it. I see a box. What's in the box? All right, it's some aluminum powder. We just go past here. Okay. Just uh, avoid the main quest, like. The plague, ha! Get it? All right. Jesus, I've 
Oh, he has a headache. Oh, oh, good sir. Wait, who are you? Oh, uh, hello, I have a cure. Good evening. Evening. Yeah. Do you need medical attention? Don't get me wrong, sir. I'm grateful for what you've done, but I've never felt comfortable with doctors. Well, take this. I'm certain you have your reasons. I'm certain. But let me assure you, I'm not like other doctors you may have <laughs> consulted with. Uh, it is true. You risked your life to save me, after all. It would be impolite to refuse your counsel. Um, I'm not like other doctors. Goodbye, Miss. Wait, can I... Have I Good gained some evening. trust or some information? Do you want to talk about why you have this fear of being enclosed, Mr. Thatcher? No, I really don't. An irrational fear like yours is usually rooted in a specific event. Perhaps it would help to talk about it. Well, Doctor, take a guess then, if you're so interested in my case. Soldier's Guild was your child and you got buried? Ooh, wait, didn't we hear anything about this? No, the other guy got buried in a, in a pile of rats. And bodies. Ah. Uh, I want to get this right. It's not soldier's guilt. Like, he, he already had the fear before he got there, so I guess childhood? Perhaps you were trapped or locked in somewhere as a child. The horror of war could have brought this memory back to the surface. Are you joking? I grew up on a farm. I had a bloody fantastic childhood. Shit! No! Heck! Goodbye, man. No! Oh man, that's like the first one where you could like completely screw yourself. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I hate everything. Oh, I'm slightly upset. Like I was pretty sure that it wouldn't have been the war itself. That's not the way to go. Or is it? No. This map, man. Isn't there a mini map? Let me check real quick. Nope. Okay. Man, that sucks. I would really like to help him. Well, just another thing we'll have to fix in another game. Play. Another run, I guess. If I ever will. This is a, a decently long game, so we'll, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Wait, how do you get there? Hmm. We'll see. Hey. Time to look for a couple of people to give them some cures. Uh, you there? <gasps> you're outside the pub. Good evening, Mr. Delaney. What? Oh, you're a doctor. Oh my god, you're remembered. Inebriation aside, do you need medical help? Yes. I feel sicker than usual these days. All right, have this. Take this, then. Hey, girl. And perhaps you could try to slow down the alcohol intake, too. Hey, Doc, you don't really want me to stop the only remedy I can afford. Yeah. Goodbye. All right. Uh, let me check real quick. We're in the docks. We haven't met that lady. He's getting cured. And we have to find see more fish burn. Now let's do that quest first. Uh since he has a coat. Ma'am, who are you? Oh, more people that I don't know. Hello there. Hello, boy. Oh, you're a oh. boy? Hello. Good evening. Why Did I scare you? You have nothing to fear from me. No, it's just that people prefer to avoid me. Well, I won't. 
I'm a doctor. My name is Rufus, sir. Rufus Kingsbury. Alright, Rufus. You've got a name here. I'll cure that. What can you tell me about this region? It's all about staying out of trouble. But since most people prefer to avoid me, it's pretty easy. Hmm. Why do people avoid you? They call me Rufus the Curse. Around here, I'm a bit of a bad luck charm. Hmm. Have you ever thought about leaving? <laughs> Where else would I go? At least I know these streets and some people around here. This is my city, for better or worse. Sure. What do you do around here, Rufus? I listen to the news on the dock, sir. And I smile at those kind enough to spare me a bob. A bob? Do you have a job? It's hard to work, what with my head and all. Since I was a boy, I've always had trouble remembering what I do and why I do it. Yikes. What do people say about this place? Things have been tense between the wet boot boys and the communists. They both feel they should run the dogs. Right. Are you alone? Where is your family? I... I don't have any. My parents are dead. So you have no home? You're sleeping rough. No. I mean, yes. I live on the streets. I have no home. Hmm. It's tragic. We're all alone. I mean, he knows it's tragic. And we're all alone. Wow, thanks. But I'm saying... No, 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 you don't. This city has abandoned so many of its children. It's tragic. Well, I've known worse. I'm not all alone. I have Mrs. Fishburn. She's been very kind to me. Why do you think she's so considerate? I can't say, sir. I guess she's a good soul. Sometimes it's like she replaces the mother I lost, even if we're not related. Hmm. So long, Rufus. Mrs. Fishburn. The lady that's over there. <gasps> She's waving at me already. That whore. All right, knock, knock. Good evening, madam. I'm Dr. Reed. Could I come in? Why? What do you want? I work at the Pembroke Hospital. I'm investigating the flu epidemic in this area. Oh, the Spanish flu. Well, that's quite liberal of you, doctor. But this is no time to be knocking at people's doors. Let me in! The disease takes away the good people the too, disease. madam. Why not let me in? It's Mrs. Fishburn. Stella Fishburn. And yes, indeed. Why not let a doctor in? These Jedi mind tricks, man. Please don't stay too long, sir. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just gonna rob you of all of your earthly possessions. Uh, be like, hey, I'm a doctor, though. I'm gonna cure you with exactly the things that I found here. You don't need them. Always so weird. <laughs> For a second, I was, oh, like, oh, can I sit down here, perhaps? Um, ba -ba 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 Seems, oh, never mind. Let me just steal it's the lot. Locking things from strangers, are we? So you have questions about the flu, then? Yes, among other things. Forgive my rudeness at the door. It's just my son doesn't like strangers coming in the house. She's healthy. Nice. Uh, sure. The orphan that regards you as a mother. Please tell me about him, Stella. You mean Rufus? I wish I could do even more for the poor boy. Most people are so selfish. But you're not. Years may have passed, but I haven't forgotten how it feels to go through days with nothing but an empty stomach. How is life around here? Life has always been hard in the East End. But it's everywhere nowadays, isn't it? Do you think the increase in violence has anything to do with the epidemic? Don't know, but it's most likely linked to the gangs, if you ask me. Recently, it's like everyone has had to pick a side. 
Mm. Violence has always fed on poverty, don't you think? It's a cruel law of the human condition. And selfishness is their rotten fruit. These days, you could just die in the gutter and no one will bat an eye. Big oof. May I ask what you do for a living, Mrs. Fishburne? Since my husband died, I worked at the Dawson Rope Factory, but it closed before the war. I occasionally help at the night asylum. Right, that's where we still have to food. get. We still have to get there. Did your husband die in the war? Oh no. My Jack was a docker. He died when my seamer was just a lad. The poor boy saw his dad slip and fall from that scaffolding. Ah, fuck. How do you pay the rent then? My Seymour works at the docks, just like his dad. He's very attached to the house he grew up in. It's not always easy, but we get by all right. All right, fair enough. Yeah, she's healthy and all. And we need Goodbye, more hints. However, we have to find this sweet, sweet lady, the necklace. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to heal him. Evening, Mr. Sorry. Do you need help? A real doctor caring about me. That's a first. I feel like a real person. A real boy. A real doctor treats everyone the same, Rufus. I don't know what to say. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So long, Rufus. Hello, hello. Good evening, Mr. Fishburne. Yeah, yeah. Nothing new. Do you require Let's help. medical assistance? <laughs> That's something I didn't expect to hear again. A doctor concerned with the health of his patients. <laughs> yeah. I could use some help. On several matters, in fact. I don't know which don't kind of doctor know. you're used to dealing with. But it's a doctor's purpose to heal people. And is it your purpose as well, Mr. Reed? I would say it's a convenient way for gaining people's trust. Also Goodbye, true. Some call this the bad part. Also true. Um, wait. I am tracking this, right? Retrieve the necklace lost by Seymour Fishburne. It's just somewhere. I guess, like, in a. Like, j j just like somewhere. What? I mean, I guess it makes sense. He said he lost it, so he'd be like, oh yeah, I lost it at that place. Go, uh, get it, because I can't. And shillings, let's go. I'm just having a bit of a run around. This is a slaughterhouse. Oh, jeez, it is. What? Oh, 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 no. From Seymour to my beloved mother, From Stella. From Seymour to my beloved mother, Stella. Fishburn, that sneaky bastard. Wait. It's locked. I'm confused. It is... Is... Is that not her son? What's happening? I'm so confused. I'm... You're him. Good evening, Mr. Fishman. Yeah. I have retrieved the gift for your mother, sir. Great. Give it here then and take this for your trouble. I also found the corpses. The ones under which you left the necklace, Mr. Fishburne. Ah, so that's where I left it. I can be a bit stupid sometimes. Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? Sure. As a man of science, I'd like to try to understand why you killed those people. Why does there need to be a reason? They were just there. It happened. That's all. You're not a mindless animal, Seymour. Surely you have something to say about these murders. 
Speak up and I will listen without judgment. Could be right, Dr. Reed. Maybe it'll do some good to confide in a gentleman like you. You being educated and all. Mm-hmm. Tell me about your victims. Tell me. Who were they? Why them? Was there a link? Why should there be? They just kept getting on my nerves at the worst times. That's all. Mm. How many? How many victims? It's not like I keep records. It happens when it happens. Oh, no. You feel nothing, do you? No empathy for your victims at all. You seem pretty calm yourself, don't you? We're not talking about me. That right. Well, our calm's the only thing we have in common then. Fucking yikes. Did you take pleasure in killing them, Seymour? All those people, all those lives extinguished. I take no pleasure from it. Just gives me peace. Uh... Stills the anger. For a time. This rage you feel. Have you ever been able to control it? Resist it? I... I tried. For my mum. I tried for her. Telling the truth made me feel better. For a while. Hmm. Don't you think you should seek help? Talk to someone you trust. Someone who cares about you. No. And don't dare speak about me to your colleagues either. Keep your mouth shut tight. Especially about my mum. Heckin' yikes. I mean, at least there is hope, right? Like he said, talking about it helps. Why is your mother protecting you, Seymour? I'm her son. She's the only one who knows me. Sometimes I think she knows me better than I know myself. I understand you love her. But can't you see the awful situation you've put her in? Do you think my mum would have a better life if I were dead? She seems so sad to know me sometimes. Hmm... Death is an appropriate punishment. Uh, <laughs> right. Yeah, I mean, I guess she is the mother. She has lost her husband. I understand your mother's situation. Obtaining justice at the price of betraying her own flesh. It's quite a dilemma. It might be my mum's wish that I end up swinging from a hangman's noose. But she wouldn't want to be the one who ties a knot round my neck. Alright, are we just gonna go to the mum and be like, yo, I can Goodbye. kill your son for you if you'd like. I don't think so. Also, we have 4,000 XP. Alright. Knock, knock. Good evening, Mrs. Fishburne. May I come in, please? Of course. Alright. Let's grow eyes on the back of that head, sir. Gentlemen are easy targets in these parts. Weird sentence to what say. What can I do for... Tell me about these demons Seymour needs your help to fight. Seymour used to be such a happy child. And he is still a helping son most of the time. But when he gets angry, he can hardly contain his rage. All men and women are born innocent, Mrs. Fishburne. But there can be a monster within any of us. Do you think he can be cured, Doctor? Do you think something can extinguish this rage inside my Seymour? Hmm. Justice is the cure. Oh, that sounds like murder. Your mind is me. He's fully responsible. I mean, it's either this or that because that's just like... I don't know, it's just weird, yo. I mean, he can't go around murdering people. Just objectively, he can't. So, justice. There is no cure for murder, Mrs. Oh, God. <laughs> Only justice. There ain't no hope, then. Somehow, somewhere, my son has turned into a monster. And nothing will bring him back. Okay. Um, I mean, talking about it helps, I guess. Your son's gone way beyond simply bullying people. He has a taste for blood, and you know it, don't you, Stella? One night, he told me straight up, in his own words. It was several days after one of his... episodes. Why did he confess? Did you suspect something? No. 
I guess he wanted his old mum to help him fight his, uh, demons. Hmm. Did Seymour tell you everything that night? More than I could stand. The words he used to describe his hate, his rage, how he feels when he's done it. Stella, I know you are ashamed of your son's crimes. So why do you protect Seymour? I can't report my own son, can I? Not a burden I could bear. Mm -hmm. Burden? How do you mean? They'd hang him for sure. I won't send my only son to his death. Shop? I mean, this must stop. Yes, she's not responsible, though. And she can't protect him forever. Why is this so difficult? I mean, we're talking about a murderer, so, you know. Let's do it. I'm convinced you raised Seymour the best you could. You're not responsible for what he became. If someone ever found the courage to speak to the police, I will take my share. Goodbye, Miss... Wait, there's no additional mission to that? Huh. That's odd. I thought maybe it's gonna be like, oh yeah, talk to the police, or like, report them, or take care of them yourself. Do whatevs. I don't want a regular old murder man to be on the streets though, not on my streets. We can make that jump. Yup. Wait, what? what's this mission at? Why is it not tracking? Oh, just get some gin bottles. Okay. It's in ah! oh, Christ! He's dead! Where would I find these? Oh. No! Oh, okay, <laughs> that's fine. Where would I find these so-called uh, gin bottles? Destroy the merchandise. Further up, maybe. Oh, there we go. Tom has so much alcohol, he could keep this district afloat for quite some time. Why does he sound so happy about it? Also, I thought that was like a, a note I could read. Well then. Newspaper article. Youth arrested for attempted murder. Last night, a young man named Tom Watts was arrested by the police for attempted murder in the renowned restaurant The Silver Bell on Percival Street. The, uh, the suspect was spotted standing in front of the restaurant, pointing a gun at customers for about one minute without firing. Two witnesses promptly reported his behavior. Watts was arrested without incident, but refused to give any explanation to his actions um, and only gave his name. His gun was loaded, confirmed the policeman who, arrested our question, uh, who answered our questions. It is likely that Watts will feel the full force of this uh, of His Majesty's courts for this transgression. The young man shall be jailed for a few years at least. Interesting. So he had some kind of criminal past and I was like, you know what, I just want to give drinks to everyone and have them chill the fuck out. Makes sense. All right, down we go. This has been done. We'll do that after. Let's just complete this first. And we'll have to find a way here somehow. 
maybe we'll get there with the whole uh, story progression at some point. Oh wait, we have to uh, jump over the Thames. I think it is at least. More loot, more loot, perfect. Jumpy jump, whoop. All right, and into this building we go. Lots of war propaganda on the walls, nothing to see here. Hello, hello. Welcome back, Doctor. What can I do for you? You're a criminal! You lied to me, Tom. Your warehouse wasn't empty. It was inhabited with armed vigilantes. I'm sorry, Dr. Reed, but I thought those pre one guards would be willing to let someone like you pass without trouble. That was uh. devious of you, Tom. Next time you can bloody well go yourself. I apologize, Doctor, but it, it's just that I prefer to huh. avoid the law, its yeah. enforcers, and all manner of thugs in uniform. Nah, he needs Here's to. Here's your booze. I hope it will appease your customers. Just try not to kill anyone with this poison of yours. <laughs> Believe me, Doctor, most of my customers are less agreeable when sober. Yeah, I was about to say, it's better if he gets to peddle alcohol uh, than for this place to shut down and everyone just, like, killing each other. Why does your waitress Why? feel in danger working on the docks? This part of town is dangerous for all, but for women it's worse, as yep. always. Sabrina is a brave girl, but she can't help feeling in danger. Do you think she has good reason to feel this way? Are you not worried about her safety? Of course I am. The truth is, she's tougher than me deep inside. She just has to learn to control it. Alright. Time for a bunch of personal questions. You attempted murder. Give me some details. I was given an order. An order to kill. Ah, yeah. Makes sense. I was sense. an obedient gang member at the time. A proud, wet boot boy. I mean, money Why protection. Why did you join the gang? Because I finally felt useful. Or that. Do you have any idea what it means to feel respected when the rest of the world shits on you? So you were ordered to kill someone. What happened then? I don't know if you can possibly understand, but... I couldn't kill him. I just stood there pointing my gun. Someone saw me. I gave up. Why couldn't you shoot? My target was eating in that fancy restaurant with mirrors and music. He was eating, drinking, laughing. He was having such a good time. I hated him for his bottomless appetite, an easy life of easy pickings. And then something happened. Hmm. You refused to kill him because you wanted to feel some of that happiness yourself. You empathized with him. Exactly. The man was a bloody landlord who rented overpriced flats. Selfish bastard. But he made me smile. And I was no different from him. Yup. Tell me about your arrest for attempted murder, Tom. I tried to kill someone. I got arrested. I paid my debt and I have nothing to hide. So you mean your customers know about your sordid past? Yeah, <laughs> why do you think this is the last pub open? I have nothing to hide and I don't judge. That's a relief for many round here. Fair enough. Do you think prison changed you? Made you a better man? Oh, I don't know about that. All I brought back is bad memories, scars. <laughs> and an ugly tattoo of a blue turtle. But do you feel cleansed <laughs> of your sins? All I know is that I'm at peace. I did what I did, but I wouldn't do it again. Does that make me a better man? I don't know. Why a blue turtle, though? He didn't have... I mean, he named the bar after it, but he he didn't have the bar beforehand. Why not leave town and Why start not a new leave life after you got out of jail? I grew up in the East End. This is where my roots are. This is where I want to help others and die eventually. All right. Do you think the docks will always be a hive of scum and villainy? As long as poverty and fear run the show, I don't see how it would change. Misery loves company, as they say. Don't you feel threatened, staying in such a violent and criminal neighborhood? 
I've made peace with my violent past, Dr. Reed. I may not be a pacifist, but I'm not angry anymore. All right, last hint, not last hint. Ma. All right. Goodbye, Mister. What's his willpower? It's like three. Yeah, boy. All right, cool. So that has been done as well. Now, where is this? It's also down there. I wonder how we get there. We shall see. And this. Uh, wait, can't we jump over? I thought we can jump over. Let's see. Well, we can jump over uh, through the docks like we just did, but I don't know if we can uh, keep walking there. Yup. I only remember a locked door. I cannot enter. All right, doesn't open from this set. Maybe we just have to go through one. No, don't eat the rat. God damn it. I thought, man. It's locked, all right. That sucks. Can I get through here? Best stay back, sir. Don't mind me. It's locked. All right, then. Wait, what? No Wait, so that doesn't open? How am I supposed to get there then? Like, this is the regular way to get there, right? Or do you have to, like, go all the way? No, that doesn't make any sense. Do we jump up? I mean, there's this. I guess we could sleep. We have administered a lot of medicine. Uh, and there is obviously no way down. All right, let's have a sit. Spend some XP. Level 14, all right. Ooh, we can upgrade the healing. No uh, damage instantly. Level 12 required. Greater damage. Uh, three spears, right? Yeah. Onto three spears, sounds cool. Um, Let's upgrade this. Cool, cool, cool. Big thirst. I don't really... Hmm. This kind of feels like Dead by Daylight. <laughs> um... Hmm... Oh, I don't have the blood for the- God damn it. Um, what's the difference here? You trade the instant health uh, for greater regeneration. You trade more blood to heal yourself instantly and gain additional boosts of your health regeneration. Why? Oh, it costs less.
I kind of like the recovery, I suppose. Er, let's do this. And I guess we could level this just so that we have a point in it. Alright, let's see how the health situation is. Look at that. Is healthy boys. Oh. It's stable and this should definitely be uh, healthy, right? Wait, what about her? She has a cold and I didn't see. He has a cold and I didn't see. Well, mm. It's still critical? What? He's fatigued now. He's still fatigued. I don't know what that is. All right, I guess. I wonder if there's a way to get over here. It's locked, all right. Like, how am I supposed to get there? If all of this is locked as well. Yeah, that's locked, and then we just jumped over here and got here. But that's locked too. That looks like something. That green. That's that. That's nothing. There's one of them. Watch yourself. Filthy piece of shit. Oh, they do find a way up. Ooh, that is a lot faster healing. There isn't a way out. Why? It's a scam. You know, I don't understand. We turn. Oh no, we don't turn into mist. We just move super fast. Uh, you can't hear, so I come at the bank and dip. I appreciate it, friend. Thank you so much. Uh, I can't really squill. I'll just be like, thanks, bub. Mwah. Little kiss. I guess we'll just leave then. Wait, that, that's just back. But yeah, I appreciate you showing up. Pup, 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 pup. That is a locked door. These lads have respawned. Christ stole my A. Christ on a stick. Alright, let's leave. I guess it is time for the main story after all. He's sick as fuck, bruv. Wait, who are you? Oh, you're this guy. Well, I'm Doc, and I. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, and we didn't what talk to him. Can you tell me about this part of town? People used to feel safe around here. They had the gangs protecting them. 
Now all they do is bicker and plot against one another. Ah. Missing the good old days, are you not? Trust me, son. The longer you live, the less meaning your existence will have. You need to remember the days you still had beliefs. And what about the gangs? Back in my day, people trusted the wet boot boys. We looked out for the docks and its families. Nowadays, they're just a bunch of greedy fuckers. You were a gang member. I was their leader for a time, believe it or not. Now these bastards act like I'm nothing. Not one of them. They owe me some damn respect. Hmm. If you were such a respected figure, surely you have many interesting stories about this part of town. You bet I do, but make no mistake. I'm no rat, sir. Some secrets are best left buried. Hmm. Lots of information. Let's go. He is healthy. Who would you trust around here? The owner of the turquoise turtles, a mm. decent fella. Tom's his name. Sean Hampton's all right, too. Don't particularly share his religious views. He's quite devout, if you catch my meaning. Do you still know anyone? From the old days, I mean. Most of them are dead. I still give Miss Gillingham salutations. She doesn't remember me. She did once like me. Boy, <laughs> she was a beauty back then. Damn. Player. Any remarkable new faces around here? Nobody. Well, there's that boy Rufus the Curse. <laughs> like him, despite the reputation he's made since his parents died. Poor little bastard. Why'd you like him then? Probably just like, ah, sucks to be him, but empathy or something. I'm sure a district as colorful as the docks must have plenty of stories about strange visitors and creepy characters. So, you want me to talk about the sewer dog? Mm -hmm. If you don't mind. The sewer dog is a bitch. Appropriately named an old woman dressed in rags. She has an elegance, though. Despite her ugliness, I saw her once. Scared the life out of me. Interesting. Ah, uh, sure. Tell me everything Tell me. you know about the guard of Prewin. Andrew never told me what they do. I do know they're vigilantes with military training. Access to some impressive firepower. And what is your personal opinion about the guard, then? This guard of Prewin is just another gang preying on the young and naive. Preying on people like my boy. I know how it works. I invented it. Interesting. Have you always been so bitter? It's not bitterness. It's poorly masked disgust. <laughs> when everything turns to shit, we all have to eat a spoon or two. Hmm. With everything that's happened recently, the war, Spanish flu, I must concede that these are difficult times. A few nights ago, I saw a kid eating a rat. He was right in front of one of those abandoned houses nearby. Just chewing on a living rat's insides. I mean, it's a tasty snack. Tell me about the wet boot boys, Archer. I want to know more. We were there for the families and each other. It was us against the world. We were vicious, tough, even cruel. But we were united. You sound like you were some kind of radical union member. Yes, nowadays the communists and gangs squabble over pointless territory. Sounds stupid when you say it out loud. Hmm. Why did your son really Why? join the guard If I believed in a higher power, I'd see this as punishment for my own sins. I deserve it for all the young men I enlisted back in the day. You don't believe in God, though, do you, Mr. Woodbeat? So why did he join? Now I think about it. Andrew joined the guard, not to defy me, but to follow in my footsteps. Makes sense. To make me proud. So your son has left you nothing to explain his actions? No letter or message? Not even a note. I'm a proud man, Dr. Reed, but I would kneel and pray if I thought it would give me my Andrew back. Yikers. All right. Goodbye, sir. See you around. We got some information.
Right, we're back in the docks, so we've got Stella. Do have someone to cure here just to get that out of the way before we leave for a bit. We don't know her. Everyone else is pretty healthy though. So I'm pretty pleased. We do have a bunch of people with colds, I believe, in the uh in the old hospital. Murderer. Wait, what's this? Wait, I feel like I've been here before. Didn't we run through here when we were exp es escaping? Escaping in the very beginning? Yeah, we did. And then we got out here and then we, uh... We got to the lad. In the turquoise turtle. Uh, no, this is just like a quest area. Where we had to kill some stuff. Just having a bit of a look, see around. What's this? Ah, okay. Milady. It's nothing to do with the wet boots, I say. Yeah, through here, straight on. And I mean, most of these areas just look the same. Crush the leech, boys. No thanks. I've got I've got places to be. What are you doing? <laughs> Just always dashing looks so funny. Oop, 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 oop. Stupid beast. <laughs> oh man, that looks kind of dumb. Help me, hospital. I've been hurt. Never mind, I'm the healthiest boy. Wait, this is the hospital backyard place. Uh, there we go. Kind of. I mean, what? Where am I? Through here? No, wait, that's the, um... The morgue, the farming spot for medical supplies. Don't need those just yet. We are pretty good still on uh, on the Healy boys. Hey, the morgue is healthy at least. Sorry about that. There we go. Pepper, you're sick. Good evening, Doc. Let's heal. Do you first. need medical help yourself, nurse? I'm afraid I've contracted some illness, Doctor Reed. Luckily, I can smell sickness. Not under my watch, nurse. Take this. You'll feel better. Thank you, Dr. Reed. Alright. Pepper, are you sure you want to leave this hospital? To become a nurse was a little girl's dream. But in the end, I don't feel that useful. I want more. I want to make things change. You should be proud of what you've achieved. This hospital represents hope for many people in need of help. Maybe you're right. But at the moment, I feel like we're just a cemetery waiting room. Fair enough. What steps are you prepared to take to feel more useful? I don't know yet. 
My sister believes that the real fight is in the streets nowadays. Maybe she's right. Maybe this is what I must do. And what about Milton Hooks? Does he share your point of view? For Milton, any change means more comfort and more peace. I disagree. Hmm. If you feel that saving lives is not useful enough, perhaps it means that you've lost faith. On the contrary, my faith has never been stronger. Maybe we are all just too proud to face up to the fact that science cannot compete with God. All right. Goodbye. Interesting. Someone else is a bit of a, a cold boy. Also, have they finally cured my dude? Of course not. He's still sitting there. For three days, he's been waiting for a, a heckin' operation. And they're like... <laughs> Things will happen eventually. He'll get cured. Some will do it. <laughs> Alright. Oh, it's new and he's somewhere outside. Is this supposed to be an hospital? A pig star would smell better. All right, rude. We're just trying our best here. Hello again, Mr. Black. Good evening, Doctor. Do you need medical attention, sir? Afraid so. In the war, I was always worried about picking up something, getting some infection. Unfortunately, I've got that fear in London now. I mean, if you're standing around in the rain, that's what's going to happen. Throughout history, some diseases have done more damage to armies than any weapon created by man. You are wise to be careful. You're working at the Pembroke Hospital, aren't you? That's a good enough reason for me and Oswald to go there. Goodbye, man. All right, so everyone here is, in fact, recovering now. Very good. All right, time to leave. All right, so we go back here. Oof, the status is critical. Good to know, and I had oh. Well, that's not nice. Excuse me, sir. What is that hitting me? Oh, it's it's a sniper. Give him the suck for a bit of region and quite a bit of blood. Three shillings. I was about to say, he just looked over his shoulder as if he's gonna not notice me. I shouldn't cast my my blood magic stuff uh, right in front of his face. That is not the smartest move. That is some really good healing though. I'm, I'm very happy with it. Give him the suck. But yeah, I'm I'm slightly sad that uh you know we killed our sister, obviously, but I was kinda hoping that 
we might have like accidentally turned her into a vampire as well. My dear sister, I don't know if I have the strength. Yo, this looks like Dark Souls 3 in the beginning. That doesn't sound too good. More bonks. Oh my god. Somebody help! Whoops. Alright, give him the suck. You can hear now. Welcome to the world of the hearing. How have you been, friend? Somebody help! Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry about it. I'm here. Hello. Who are you? Are you alright, miss? I I don't know. Who were those people? They they, they wanted to kill me. Why? They've lost their minds in the epidemic. They won't come back for now. You seem to know a lot about now? them, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm investigating this disease. I am Xiao Shun. Thank you so much for helping me, Mr. Reed. I must go to the cemetery now. Goodbye. Wait, how's her health? She's healthy. All right. Carnage. Is Father Whitaker's dis this man's far too Oops. old to be Samuel? Oh, the the side quest, right? No. By the look of his clothes, this man's a docker. Um, only for those left of bunk. Well, you know, you can always re-scrap. Samuel isn't here. I had better follow the blood trail. That's a lot of blood. It's locked, all right. There we go. A dog? What? All right, let's follow this trail for now. You're breathtaking. No, you. Oh, you're a bit of a special boy, aren't you? Whoops. Didn't have the stamina for a sec to dodge. Uh... Yeah, I was afraid that the, uh... Wait, you double flipped, so you just know you yourself. I feared. Oh. Samuel no longer preaches the good word. Yup. Big F for our boy Samuel. Time to stun him. Alright, there you go. You triple no you, so it's it's back to me now. Luckily, he's just a regular Angie boy. One more hit. There we go. A personal diary. 12th Oct October. Father Whitaker is so righteous, so full of compassion and love for the suffering ones. His words are all the city needs. Tonight, I gave him all I have. Ah. Oh, okay. My strength, my faith, my wealth, and if it is not enough, I know where to find more. 17th of October. Father Whitaker and I went to the, uh, to an abandoned house near St. Mary's Church. It was an awful and smelly place. Rats were disputing the rooms uh, to the last remaining residents of the uh, decrepit flats. Most of them are sick. Awful. Awful odors. On the last floor, Father Whitaker found an old man lying on dirty mattress, coughing and spitting blood in a wooden bowl. Father Whitaker knelt before him and prayed a long time. The man seemed to feel better. Then we both helped him find the light. I cried then, and I cry now as I write these lines, for I have never seen a soul so relieved to be the final redeemed, uh, to be finally redeemed. Father Whitaker is a saint. If it's not a pr uh, presumptuous nor a sinful expression of pride, I wish I'll be able to save as many souls as he does, for it's a real privilege to witness such miracles. 
19th of October. Tonight we both went to the uh, whorehouses boarding the canal. I must admit, I was very afraid to cross the paths of Jezebels, but the buildings were abandoned for a long time. Whores are infections, and infections go together, explained Father Whitaker. But their customers quickly get scared when there is mention of disease. In the last brothel, we found two sick women, sleeping together in a sinful attitude under dirty blankets. The odor was awful once more. The smell of Satan and the disease, explained Father Whitaker, before kneeling and praying for these two lost souls. The women were so frail and sick, they were not able to move when I threw the petrol on the blankets. Wait, what? Their souls are now cleansed and purified. I mean, yeah, burning, but like, mm, all right, they're still alive, but okay. Father Whitaker is a saint. I won't let anyone mock the holy man he is. He shall receive more help and supporters, but as far as the true prophets, he is alone. He needs more from his followers. He needs love and proof of love. Tomorrow I shall go back to the cemetery and earth more wealth for him. Oh, fucking hell, dude. The dead have no need for the terrestrial goods, but we need to eat, Father Whitaker and I. Why is there always a theme of grave robbery? That is the worst. Like, it makes sense. But morally, dude. Tonight, for the first time, it was my turn to lead the round. I chose to return where we went ten days ago to see if any more souls need to be freed. Father Whitaker approved my choices. Since the good man's work is never finished and Satan never sleeps, he explained. He also said, if I keep showing so much zeal, he may soon give me more important missions and tasks. I can't wait. Three more souls have been cleansed from any corruption tonight. If it's not presumptuous nor a sinful expression of pride, I dare to say we are on a path to greatness. Well then... Let's see what the uh, the lad has to say about all of this. Also, there's probably enemies in here. Oh, it's a blinker skull. Oh, they even have a specific uh, a name when they can hop around. Okay. Oh, you were weak. I was a bit worried about having to fight a blinky boy in an enclosed space like this, but uh. No problem whatsoever. Ooh. That's cool. That's a big jump. That's water. Oh, and we found a hideout. There's no point in really sitting down at this point. Still got a couple of people to cure. Pneumonia. Brisk blood sample. Oh, okay. Wait. We need this. We need the neurology and the migraine and the headache recipe. Or am I? <laughs> Sorry, sir. No admittance. Heal myself real quick. Ooh, nice parry. Kill him with a suck. Kill him with suckness. Alright, cool. Back to the main story we go. Never mind, I found this. Whatever th this is. God damn it. The random finding things and being like, oh, I'm gonna do the main story now. No. <laughs> oh, 
All right, just beat this guy up. Oh, I could have checked what I need to upgrade my weapon. Oh, well. Oh, that's not a door. Okay. I thought maybe I'll have enough stamina to, uh... Extermination of the rodent! Uh, no mercy, no excuse, no forgiveness. They are, these are the simple rules all members of the club shall apply when dealing with skulls. Whenever you face one, exterminate it. Whenever you suspect a vampire of creating skulls, report him immediately to Fergal Bansha. And to their appetite of primitive instincts. Uh, and to myself, whoops. Skulls are permanent threat to us, for the de uh, despicable creatures have no control of their appetite for the primal, uh, primitive instincts. The only case where a skull can be mentally, uh, momentarily spared is as long as they can, uh, he can prove us really useful information for our project. In any other case, London must be cleansed of these disgusting rodents. From the laws of Ascalon, the Lord Redgrave Founder. Oh, it's a third guy. I am kind of reconsidering the uh, triple blood spear. Sure, it might look cooler. But if you have a chunkier one, like I already positioned myself in such a way uh, that the spear hits multiple targets because it is piercing. So, you know, maybe it is more worthwhile to have just a chunky spear also for bosses. Hmm. Yeah, the blinker skull are somehow uh, really weak. Oh my god, a cigarette case. I wonder where we exit from here. Maybe it's just a good shortcut, but you have to kill a bunch of enemies. Like, shortcut for having to kill enemies, so you kind of... But it's still safe time. We shall see. Go back home, idiot. Wait, what? Last warning, sir. I cannot enter. I'm just confused. Can I push into the water? Over there. I cannot. That's too bad. Oh wait, no I am, I'm just back here, yeah. All right then. Let's go discreetly attend Mary's funeral. Hey, 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 so many vampy boys. Oh, that's a bunch of boys. Ouchies. Let me go, please. 
Heal up real quick. Aim the arrow. Whoops. I tried to change my attack direction, but it kind of wouldn't let me. I right, give him a stab and give him a bite. Get some health and blood back. Ouchie, ouchies. Yeah, that is some really potent healing. I'm, I'm very happy with that. Oh, ma'am. We've got some strong legs, destroying rocks by walking into them. Holy moly. This guy does not skip leg day. I mean, how do they hold funerals when there is... Literally vampires everywhere. Since I can't reveal myself to my mother now, I must find a discreet spot to attend the ceremony. Oh, the parents are here. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. We commend unto thy hands of mercy, most merciful Father. The soul of our sister departed, and we commit her body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. I kill my Mary and stick her here in this cold, god-awful place. <laughs> These are the legal requirements for the epidemic, Mary. Oh, Avery, I feel so tired. Please take me home. Yes, madam. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm a doctor. I've got something for fatigue. Oh, I thought it was gonna burn the well swoop. My name is Dr. Jonathan Reed. <laughs> Can I help you? Oh Mary. What have I done? If I could only change one. One thing. This is a nightmare. Jonathan, there is nothing you can do. Oh, hello there. Accept it. What brings you here? I thought you could use the company. I am so sorry for your loss, Jonathan. I wish the tears would come, but I'm empty, and I feel a hypocrite. Let your pain run free, Jonathan. Don't smother it. What you feel is your humanity. Don't be so quick to lose it. She had been scouring the most dangerous parts of London in search of me, and it led to her death. Jonathan, don't. I still hear her last thoughts. They echo in my head. Her mind shattered and... and it haunts me. Jonathan, stop. Listen carefully. You must come to terms with this. You must learn to live with what happened. I'm learning. Every night is a new lesson. What I am. What I must do to survive. But my sister, she shouldn't have suffered because of my weakness. Don't you see? You're doing the work of our enemies, feeding your remorse. We are weakest when we grieve, 
and the guilt blurs our senses. And so this is why you're here, to warn me. You felt this pain yourself. You too have endured this. I don't want to lose you, Jonathan. I've lost so many friends, loved ones I cherished. Pray for Mary's forgiveness, if you must. You may be right. Of course. I've stared upon this world for centuries, and time has taught me to deal with guilt, if not erase it. What should I do then? St. Mary's Church is not far from here. Go there and make your peace. Find the solace you need. My lady wants me to confess. No, Jonathan. It's you who wants to confess, I think. I mean, the main thing he really needs to be aware of is that he it's locked all right was basically a starved animal and the ne be ne next best thing that came across him happened to be his sister which really sucks that he killed her but it's not his fault because the vampire that turned him is a hundred percent at fault for this because if you had given him guidance if he had helped him in any way that wouldn't ever ever happen because he would have been there he would have had some you know sacrifice willing or not whatever which is like anything but hey it's uh it's a bit of a dickhead of a, a vampire lord i guess or whatever you want to call him Oh. Sure, she goes. A newborn seeking divine consent to oh. the blood from the soft and pointy crown. Who are you? Make yourself known. Newborn, you reek of guilt and pointless compassion. Oh, shed your skin, Big forget man. your old weaker self. What do you want from me? Big hand man. Ascalon does not approve of lone wolves who bring unwanted eyes oh. to our pastures. So your name is Ascalon? <laughs> Ascalon's will is vampire law. Learn them about He's them. huge! I shall return as your judge and jury. Okay. These immortals try my patience with their plans and unsolicited counsel. Wait, they were fighting each other just a second ago. What are you doing? Reverend Kane. Um, we did read the name Ascalon earlier in a in a note, right? About the whole like extermination of the skull. This man stung me with his faith. His crucifix. Oh, that's what that was. This is not good news. But yeah, the whole uh, situation of him, a man of science, being trapped as a vampire and now being like, wait, crucifixes have power over vampires, so is there such a thing as divine power? What is this? <laughs> There's some crazy stuff going on. Oh, we're back here. We're in Whitechapel. Hello, hello. Yes? 
What is it that you want? I'm sorry to disturb you at such a late hour. No worries, my son. I'm still quite awake, having just returned from a few. Mm, I know. Yes, I know. Oh, wait. hmm. I've forgotten what I wanted. I don't know. May I help you, child? You seem somewhat perturbed. I haven't the strength to cross the threshold. I wish to pray, to cleanse my soul. The church is shut by order of the bishop, but I'm still the vicar of St. Mary's, if that is any use to you, my son. You seem to me a good soul, vicar, but this is a personal matter. There are no secrets from God, my son. If your heart needs comfort, consider me your chapel, for I can be as silent as stone. I've words for one departed. They're not for living ears to hear. Your eyes burn with rage, yet I see the pain that lies beyond. I am here to lighten the burden of all God's creatures. Whatever you tell me is between us and the Lord. Very well, priest, as you seem quite adamant. Open your heart, my son. Tell me what burdens you. With whom do you wish to speak? She was my sister. You seem so troubled by the loss of this girl. What happened to her? It was an accident. A terrible, terrible accident. I see. And how are you feeling, my son? I feel responsible. The pain is consuming me. I have a final question for you, my son. This is of the utmost importance. Ask your question, Vicar. What would you like her to know? I'm... I'm... Yeah, this is the only one. Because forgive me, yes, sure, he killed her, but not out of his will. Uh, like, his own will. I swear it wasn't me. Like, she would know. Like, she did... Like, she knows the dude. She liked him. He liked... Like, they, they, they were good siblings. Like, that kind of... Stuff. Yeah. I'm so sorry, Mary. I promise to find who is responsible for all this. I'll put an end to this horror. You have been heard, my son. And your burden will lighten if your words are sincere. Go in peace now and live your life in the way she would have wanted. I'm going to murder everyone. <laughs> oh. Whatever happened on this dock is between my sister and I. It does not concern God at all. All right. Now the question is, since we're already here, Fatigue, fatigue, fatigue. And he's like, just fucked. Oh, the... Oh. Oh, no. Don't do this to me. Don't don't make me heal the rudest of dudes. Hello there. Good evening, Mr. Whittaker. It's Father Whittaker. So, are you still lost in your rational delusions? Have you recent news of Nurse Crane and her dispensary? If you propagate the devil's work, you'll perish by the devil's work. Oof. Such is the law of the Lord. Okay. Why did you send Samuel to Why? the cemetery, Tobias? What did you see there? I sent him on a vision, a dream of a dreadful and laughing queen covered with blood, sleeping with the dead and feeding on the fear of the dying. A laughing queen dressed in blood. Tell me more. 
This epidemic is her feast, the announcement of her return. Against her, science is no more than a child's toy. But who is she? She is the mother of harlots and abomination oh. of the earth. She is Babylon, drunk on the blood of the saints. What I said? You said? Oh, okay. Good evening. It's Tobias Whitaker. Tobias Whitaker. Why you burned those people alive? I have done what no one was ready to do. I will smite the flesh of the unclean to protect the righteous. <laughs> you are just another heartless murderer, exploiting the epidemic to kill with impunity. No. No. The only way to contain the spread is to strike at the source itself. Which is what? The proliferating sick. <laughs> You're not the savior of London. You're just a glorified sadist. I take no pleasure in this awful cleansing, Dr. Reed. I am only driven by the thousands of innocents I save each night. Sure. Ah, I don't want to heal him, but I'm, I'm I found, found Samuel, your disciple. I am afraid I have bad news. I already expected the worst. He should already have come back. He is dead, isn't he? Yes. He is now. The epidemic took him. Samuel steadily made donations to our cause. He would have rewarded you himself if you'd found me in that awful cemetery. Please accept this money. I'm gonna heal him because I've sworn all of fear getting sick yourself. Faith gives me all I need, my son. If I must fall, then so be it. Wait, can I even heal him with my medicine? No doubt your faith will prevail, but let me give you some extra protection against the devil's work. Medicine. Blessed be your generosity, my son. Wait, he actually I takes it? Enough. Okay. I mean, I, they won't refuse medicine, obviously. All right, are both of you tired? You both are tired. Hello. You again? Can I offer you? Keep you. I've still got enough. There is a thin line between pride and stupidity, sir. Please take this medication. You'll feel better. All right. I'll take it then. It's not like I don't appreciate the gesture. Nice. Goodbye. Cheap price, good quality. Fancy buying some? You never lose your focus, do you? Right then. Oh, I sold this to him. And he still has it. Okay, interesting. Whoops. Thanks. You never... Do you need help? To be honest, I'd prefer you take a look at my stuff. I'd rather be rich and sick than the contrary. Huh. I don't quite agree, but I won't argue with you. Please, take this. You'll feel better. Really? Free? <laughs> Don't take it personally, but charity usually comes at a price. Human nature being what it is. Goodbye. I'm a doctor, though. I'm a good boy. Except for this guy. He's just fucked. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think we just didn't have a cure the first time we found him. I mean, it's just widow in distress. We we saved her, right? Yeah, we did. The quest is just a bit confused. And all of those are kind of in places where we can't really get back to the hospital. And Swansea we go. Ah. Uh... No, that's the wrong way. That is the correct way. Let's go. It's one of them! 
Oh, interesting. There was actually one of them, uh, red coat boys. Very interesting. Remorse oh. and pain are precious when binding you to the earth. You, I remember you. Satan? <laughs> Fear be oh. gone. I would harm no child of my making. This. It's your doing. You made me. Made me this creature. What are you? I am the land. You are our champion. What does that even mean? Riddles and rhymes. You took my life. Now you insult my mind. Be stilled, my child. I bring understanding. What is it you seek? This age is sickly. An ancient poison, an older rage, brewed in a cauldron newly forged. This has something to do with the epidemic. <laughs> seek truth, the way he said that. Defeat the serpent of knowing with iron spur. Huh? I've had enough of others making decisions for me, pretending to know how I should feel or behave. So the vampire who made me is some sort of disembodied entity? Or was he just projecting this vision in my mind? <sighs> Maybe Edgar can help me with this one. All right, let's see if we can upgrade our Weapon. Good handle part is what we require. Alright. Yeah, I don't think it's a disembodied uh, entity. It probably really is, uh, you know, a dude that has some stronger powers. God protect us. Uh, You've got a leech in the hospital. Uh, yes, my hospital. Oh shit, who's my this? Is to heal while you go about warring. You've set the table for a snake. I wonder why there's venom in your food. I'm growing tired of your song. You're a woodsman, McCallum, not a doctor. Return to your hunt. Remember, I've a good nose for machinations. I can flare the scent at a mile. You can't hide from the god. Ah, okay. Leave him, Jonathan. This is sacred ground. Neutral territory. And I just had the carpet cleaned. <laughs> wow. By the sacred stone, this is very bad news. Bad news indeed. What happened? The hospital has been attacked. We have injured Wait, patients, what? at least one dead and several missing. This has spiraled out of control. Even the most infirm are asking to be allowed to return home. We cannot have the people lose faith in this institution. This hospital is their only hope. Of course, you're right. But we cannot afford a public scandal. It would ruin us. We must restore order and quickly. You mentioned a dead patient. Who is he? She, Jonathan. Oh she shit, no! Miss Harriet Jones. The sassy lady. Room like a slaughterhouse. Blood everywhere. The duty nurse is taking care of the mess. Very well. 
I'll help you. I know this place means something to you. I have noticed how you suppress your appetite when around the staff and patients. You need to know you can trust me. Oh, does he say I something else? Dear fellow, I do. When Please you eat people? Tell me. Sean Hampton, the man we thought we'd saved at the docks. It seems he was infected after all. So Hampton became more beast than man. Exactly. And now oh, the guard shit. of Wen suspects the hospital of vampire activity. Do you realize what that could mean for us? Rest assured, I will protect you and your staff. McCullum is a fanatic. The guard will stop at nothing. You, you don't know what they're capable of, Jonathan. Very well. Since I brought Mr. Hampton here, I will put an end to this. Oof. Yeah, the guy we brought in in the very beginning who was being Sean attacked Hampton by... lives and breathes for the well-being of his flock. There's no other place he would go but the docks. Oh, oh, she's cleaning. I thought she was fucking dead, bruv. What on earth happened here? Yikers. Ooh. Time has lost its effect on me. Good evening, but the Good evening. Continues. Can you tell me anything about recent events at the hospital? Before the shouts and the noises, I think I heard whispers coming from the stairs. Two voices, maybe more. Did you recognize the voices? What did they say? I couldn't hear. Sounded like they were arguing or something. Hmm. Why do you feel responsible for the injury, Thomas? What really happened? I wasn't disfigured by any German shells. Wait, what? It happened during my leave. It was an accident. Why lie about it? Come on. It's one thing to come back oh. disfigured by the Germans. And it's another to get injured in an accident that could have happened to anybody. Reconstructive surgery has been very successful for some soldiers. I don't want to wear a bloody mask for the rest of my life. I'd rather stay here and just be forgotten. Hmm. Wait, what? You could have actually helped him? Tell me what really happened. Fuck. I went with a whore in Rouen. Dead drunk I was. The hotel was a shithole. There was a fire that night. Did you start the fire? Were you trying to avoid going back to the front? That's not uncommon, you know. No. It's just that I was asleep when the flames reached the room. The girl was long gone. Bitch never woke me up. Left me to burn. All right, that's crazy. I messed this up. You're healthy Goodbye at least. Damn. The pain. Good evening, Miss Hub. I need blood dog. Here again. Is there anything you can tell me about the recent commotion here? Many things can happen under cover of night, Dr. Reed. But I took no part in this massacre. But did you see or hear anything? I can't say I did. But the smell of fresh blood almost made me faint, Doctor. <laughs> I'll leave. Alright. Um, you know what? We'll end it here for today because there's going to be a lot of talking to uh, staff members about what happened. And then uh, bring... Oh. Then bringing justice to the land. Wait, can we see inside of the man's head? Hold on. This is for science. I know that he would understand. Uh. I mean, partially. But I want to see if you can, like, see the classic eyes and teeth thing. Uh. Not really. Oh, well. <laughs> 
However, I appreciate the interest, the booze, the, the all the stuff is good. It's still super cool. Um, but yeah, gonna be a couple of shorter streams, rest my voice, get some shit done. And then occasionally uh, some streams. So yeah, I appreciate you guys being here. I will see you guys next time. For I have been the captain. And I am over and out. Washu.